Good afternoon and welcome to the showroom here at Blue Well Spa. We're just about to give you a brief instruction on how your new hot tub will work and in this particular example, a TP600 from Balboa. So first of all at the tub, we're going to want to start by filling it and importantly, down in through the filter area. To remove the filter, the top lid comes off. The inside optical part will rotate with the lower basket attached will come out as one, as so. Miraculously, you've got your filter. It's in this film, so we'll remove that. We'll make sure that fits in there first. So we'll fill up with the hose pipe down. So when filling the tub, it's important that we're above the LED lights. You'll see these as small buttons that sit on the top edge of your tub. And ideally, we go an inch above there. It's just important so it flows nicely into this area. If we go below this area, that's when we have problems. So above here, before we switch on. And once we're above the LED lights and the water lines seem suitable, that's when we're ready to switch on. There's the Bluetooth and of course counting down the electrical code as it begins to send power to each of the units underneath the body of the tub. And the final message we'll see as part of this power up process is run, pumps, purge, air. And at this point we can test each of the pumps individually to make sure we have adequate circulation and good motion within the tub. At this chapter, if we press the light button, we should see the circulation pump active and of course signified by a thin stream of bubbles in the lower footwell and a steady pull towards the tub's filter. Pressing the light button again should stop that process and once more on the light button to repeat. This is purging the circulation pump of any air trapped in the lower cavities. Once ran a few times the circulation pump and it's clear that you've got good circulation, it's time to press on the other jet pumps, one by one. We run these for a few moments in order to release any air particles which are trapped within the lower legs or the lower plumbing regions of the tub. If any area is maintained closed, we can open these on the diverter controls found around the outer edge of your tub's control. After switching off each of the pumps, we'll still see the message and the tub will only start to want to heat once we indicate the warm button. The warm button will display the tub's current temperature. The circulation will still be active within the footwell of the tub light will appear active. As we switch those on, we now no longer have control of the circulation pump. This is now only the light functions. It is at this point we can press the warm button to indicate which temperature we'd like the tub set to. I'm going to take it all the way on this one. To the top of the tree which is 40 degrees C. This will flash for a few moments and then occupy the tub's current temperature. We'll so also see ready range with a small arrow next to which pointing upwards at the moment. And you can see now that the heat lights come on and that means that the tub's started to heat. When the heat light starts to flash, which will happen once every two minutes or so, it means that the sensors are reading the temperature and of course the flow going through the heating pipe. After a couple more moments, that will once more go solid and the tub will continue to heat.